Hi, I'm Sean. Today I'm making this dedicated, super fancy sharpening station. Check it out. I had a few short pieces of African mahogany and sapili from my daughter's bed I made kicking around the shop, so I milled them and turned them into parts for a dedicated sharpening pond. A sharpening pond helps to contain all the water and swarf from sharpening chisels and plane irons in one place and makes it easy to keep the stones wet. If you use water stones for sharpening, this would be perfect as you can keep the stones in the pond for immediate use. There are three main components to this project. A base, a flat frame, and a spigot. I started by making the base to surround a 14 quart dish pan. If you choose to make your own pond, you may want it something larger, like a bus pan, so I'll leave the dimensions relevant to what you choose as your container. The sides of the base are joined to the legs using floating tenons. The legs are relatively thin, so I space the mortises so the tenons don't interfere with each other. The domino makes quick work of the joinery. When the joinery is cut, I sanded and finished all the panels before the glue up. This made the finishing process easier to apply, but really made the project stretch out in time, as the epiphanes varnish takes about 24 hours to fully harden. The top frame was constructed of sapili, which I had re-sawn and milled to get all four pieces from two small boards. I cut 45 degree miters on each end at the table saw using a miter gauge. And then gluing them together using a band clamp and two quick clamps to pull the inside corners together. It'd be a good idea to reinforce the miters with splines, but since these pieces were only a quarter inch thick and they wouldn't be seeing much stress, I passed on the splines. If you make yours with thicker material, then do consider it, either with a spline or a few floating tenons. I finished the underside first with four coats of Epiphanes varnish to waterproof the surface. Once the insides of the panels were fully finished, I assembled the sides, starting by gluing the legs of two of the sides and then assembling the last two panels to complete the base. While all the varnish is curing, I turn my attention to the spigot. I used a three inch thick piece of mahogany and milled it square and cut it in equal pieces. I routed a stopped groove to be 3 quarters of an inch square when the pieces are glued together. This will allow the hose to pass into the spigot from the pump. When the glue is dried, I drill a 5 8 inch hole near the top at 5 degrees towards the bottom. 5 8 of an inch is just the right size for the half inch copper pipe spout. The blank is then turned round at the lathe using a carbide scraper. Of the carbide scraper varieties, I prefer a scraper with a two inch radius over square or round scrapers. I get better results and I feel they're easier to control. The shape I'm going for is simply a consistent cylinder. So to remove any variation from the scraper, I used a sanding belt on a piece of plywood to level the cylinder. Then I sand through the grits to 400 and part the piece off the lathe. It receives four coats of Epiphanes varnish as well. Back to the top surface of the frame, I'm using a gloss varnish and I want it to be a consistently smooth surface so before finishing, I fill the grain with wood filler tinted with brown mahogany trans tint dye. The filler is pressed into the pores with a putty knife moving perpendicular to the grain. If you press it in parallel to the grain, it may be pulled from the pores. The filler is allowed time to dry and then it's sanded with 80 grit up to 220. I applied four coats of varnish, each coat having ample time to harden with a leveled sanding between coats. To 
polish up the varnish, I used 500, 1000, and 2000 grit pads lubricated with water to remove all the high spots and dust nibs. If you like this project and you'd like to make one for your own shop, I have plans available on my site at a severe discount until the end of April. The plans are for two different versions of this project, so you can choose which you prefer or which suits your needs. The final buffing is done with Menzerna polish on a buffing pad. The result is a nice, even, glossy surface. To assemble the spigot, I first bend the hose about a half inch from the end so when it's inserted into the turned cylinder, it'll find its way into the hole for the spout. I use needle nose pliers to pull it through. The copper pipe is then inserted and the spigot is set into place on the frame. I drilled a 1 and 3 8 inch hole for a tenon and a 5 8 inch through hole for the hose. I chose not to glue the spigot into place because I may decide to make some changes in the future and I wanted a way to turn the spigot so the water isn't always dripping on the stones while sharpening. A hose clamp is slid onto the hose and then the pump is pressed on and plugged in. Soon the water is flowing and the clamp is adjusted to slow the flow. Sharpening has become a joy with this new really fancy pond. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, share, and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to click the little bell icon so you're sure not to miss any videos as they're released. You can also follow me on Instagram where you'll see progress shots and finished photos of the projects that I've been working on throughout the week. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean. I'll see you next time.